Hey guys, so for today's video, I'm going to be teaching you how to crochet this crop top thing. <laughs> it's really cute for summer and it's super easy to make even if you're a beginner and if you've never crocheted anything before. Uh, just a disclaimer, I only started crocheting this past year, so I'm technically still a beginner. So if I mess up, it's just because I'm, I'm still learning, but... I thought this would be fun to create, so keep watching if you want to learn how to make it. So I'm using this yarn that I just got from Michaels. I think it's a really pretty lilac color. And my hook is a five millimeter hook. So the first thing we're going to be doing to start the top is creating a slip knot. To start a slip knot, you're going to create like an X on your hand by folding the yarn over itself. So hold the end on your thumb, make an X shape, and then you're going to flip it around and pull the back string through the front string. It's kind of hard to describe, but if you can see how I'm doing it. And then you're going to put your hook in the loop and tighten the loop till it's snug on your hook. I'm making it look so much more complicated it is than it really is just because I'm trying to do it slowly <laughs> so that you can see. And then to create a chain, you're just going to pull thread through the loop with the hook, like so. So this chain is going to be the first part of our top. We're going to make cups to cover the chest. So I'm going to make this 10 chains long. Depending on your size, you can make it longer if you have a bigger chest area. For me, this is 10 chains, about 10 chains. So when you're done chaining, you're going to chain two extra loops and then go back those two extra loops <laughs> and put your hook through your chain. And then you're going to do a single crochet. So for a single crochet like I'm doing right now, you're going to use your hook, put it through a stitch. And then once it's through the stitch, you're going to pull yarn through that stitch put yarn over your hook and pull it through two chains on your hook. So again, put the hook through the chain, pull the yarn through, put the yarn over and pull it to through the last two chains that remain on your hook. So put the hook through, pull the yarn through, Yarn over hook, pull through two chains. <laughs> and you're just gonna repeat that till you get to the end of the chain we created. Then at the end, we're going to chain two loops. And then we're gonna go back up through the chain doing single crochets till we reach the top. So again, a single crochet is put the hook through pull the yarn through, yarn over, pull through two chains, two loops, sorry. Hook through, pull yarn through, yarn over, pull through two. Yeah, I'm just repeating for emphasis, but you can see how I'm doing it. Pause and rewind till you get it. Hook through, yarn through, Yarn over, pull through two. So when you get to the top, you're gonna finish it off with a single crochet and then you're gonna find the middle. So in the middle chain, the middle loop, sorry, you're going to 
put the hook through, do a single crochet, then you're going to go back inside that same stitch, pull through, do another single crochet, then go back into the same stitch again and do a third single crochet. Then you're just going to go along the other side of our chain and do a single crochet all the way down to the other side. So when you reach the bottom of the other side, when you're done single crocheting all the way down this side, when you reach the bottom, you're going to chain two and then go back up that side again, single crocheting. And then at the top in the middle stitch, you're going to create three single crochets again. So you're going to repeat that process all the way until the piece starts expanding and starting to look kind of like a bra cup. And then once it's big enough for you, then you're going to stop and you'll have your first completed cup. And you're just going to repeat that process until you have an entire cup. So I did this until I have nine rows. I'm just going to cut the cup off of the rest of the yarn and then tie it off so that we can have our first official separate cup. Now the cup is complete, I'm just going to cut the loose pieces of yarn. And there you go. So we're going to want to make two of these cups. So we do the same process that we did for the first cup, it's the exact same thing. So now that we have our two cups, we're going to connect them and make the rest of the top. So, we can make another slip knot. And then we're going to make a chain that is going to cover our side. So when you're wearing the shirt, it's going to be covering your the rest of your rib cage. For me, I chained about I don't know, I'm going to say maybe it was four or five inches. It doesn't have to be exact because the back of this is going to be lace up, so it can kind of be custom fit to you. So now we're going to connect the chain to the cup. You're going to stick it through any loop at the end, find the bottom of the piece and do a single crochet. And you're going to single crochet all along the bottom of your first chest cup. So when you've reached the end of the first cup, we're going to connect the second cup. So find the bottom, push your hook through the first loop, the first stitch, sorry. <laughs> and then you're going to do a single crochet and continue along the bottom of the second cup doing a single crochet all across the end. Now when you've reached the end, you're going to chain a chain that is exactly as long as the chain on the other side of the top. So for me, again, that was about five inches, maybe four. So when you finish your chain, you're going to go back into the chain and do a single crochet all the way back down. 
So you're just gonna turn it straight around and single crochet all the way back. So once you've done a single crochet all the way back down that chain, you're going to continue single crocheting all across the bottom of the cup until you reach the next cup and then all the way across the chain on the other side. So continue the single crochet all across the bottom of the entire top. So that includes both cups and the other tail kind of <laughs> of the second cup. I hold my crochet needle not correctly so it always hurts my hands after I crochet for a long time. There is a correct way to hold it so that it won't hurt you. I don't know what that correct way is, so you can look that up before doing this so that your hands don't cramp after a while. Once you reach the end of the other side of the top with the single crochet, you're going to you're going to chain two. And then flip it around and go back across the bottom of the entire thing again with another single crochet. So this next row is going to be the same thing, just single crocheting all the way across the entire bottom of the top. That's funny to say. That's funny to say, the bottom of the top. I mean the bottom of the crop top. <laughs> So when you've reached the end of the other side, I just flipped it around and you're going to chain two and then we're going to do a row of double crochets. So to double crochet, you're going to put yarn over the hook, put the hook through a stitch, pull the yarn through the stitch, then you're going to put yarn over again and pull it through two loops yarn over again and pull it through two loops. So that is a double crochet. And you're going to double crochet all across the entire bottom once again. So once you've completed that row, you're going to do the exact same thing again. You're going to make two chain two loops and double crochet along the bottom of the top again. So and do another row along the bottom of double crochets. So when you reach the end, you're going to chain two loops and now we're going to just do single crochet along the bottom. So if you don't remember the single crochet from the first part of this top, you're just going to put the hook through, pull yarn through, 
yarn over, pull through two. So this is going to be the last kind of, um, regular row that we make. The next two rows are going to be the finishing rows. So they'll be a little bit different than the single crochet and the double crochet. When you finish the, that row, you're going to chain three loops. Then we're going to skip two stitches, go into the third stitch and do a single crochet. Then you're going to chain three loops again, skip two stitches, and then in the third stitch, a single crochet. And you're going to repeat in this manner all the way across the bottom until you reach the other side. So once we're at the end, we're going to chain three loops, flip it over, and then we're going to double crochet in that first stitch. It's a big stitch because we skipped stitches in the earlier row. So we're just going to make a double crochet and we're actually going to do seven double crochets in that first stitch. I'm slowing it down so that you can kind of see it better. But yeah, we're going to do seven double crochets in that first loose stitch. So then in the next stitch, you're just going to do one single crochet. And then in the following stitch, you're going to do seven double crochets like you did in the first stitch. And you're going to repeat that pattern till you reach the end. So after you do seven double crochets in one stitch, the next stitch will be one single crochet. Then the following stitch will be seven double crochets and then the next stitch will be one single crochet. So you're going to keep doing that all the through for the rest of the row. So I'm just going to cut the yarn so that it's no longer connected and we're going to tie it off and that's finishing the body of the shirt. Now we're just going to create straps after this and we'll be done. So we're going to find the tops of the shirt. So each cup is going to have a string coming from it so that you can tie it behind your neck like a halter top. So you're going to create a slip knot to start a chain. And then you're going to poke it through a stitch at the very top of the cup, pull it through. And I did a slip stitch. And then you're just going to chain a really long chain, long enough for you to be able to tie it around your neck. So 
you can be the judge of when it's long enough. So when you're done with the first strap, just cut it and tie it off. Then you're going to create the other strap in the same way. We're going to create just a separate chain. This isn't connected to the shirt. You're just gonna slip stitch, slip knot, <laughs> and stitch a really, really, really long chain. This is going to be laced through the back of the top. So when you put your shirt on and you tie the halter around your neck, the back part is going to be held together by this long chain that we're creating now. You're just going to slip it through both ends of the back of your shirt and then tie it behind you so that it stays on. And then when you're done with that chain, just tie it off. And then as you can see in the back, it is looped through both sides and just tied into a bow. And then your shirt is finally finished. <laughs> Sorry if this video was confusing. This is the first time I've ever done anything like this. So I hope you were able to follow along and that your shirt came out beautifully. Thank you for watching this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe!